Hello everyone, Prince Kuda here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, I got on my soapbox while it's going for one last shrine out here. And now, the said shrine. Pop it up, brother! Oh, it's the fourth core blood blotter! The one who somehow beat our famous gut check challenge. This is our ancestral training ground, little man. You're smack in the middle of a contest of endurance. Feel the burn! We're training to become even manlier go our men, brother. Right now we're competing to see who can beat the heat. So sweaty, brother. Of course, since you beat the gut check challenge, you'll want to try this too. We're Gorons, we really so, but we can't really stand this extreme heat either. That's why we came here to train. After this, we'll be able to handle the extreme heat in Goron City, no problem. Hey, I have an idea. Come join us. Yeah, just try the contest of endurance yourself. Sure. Good answer. Guy like you has a burning passion in his belly. Inspiring, brother. So the whole thing is you need to join them on the stone circle of, of fire and death. So I'm gonna at least heal up. I'm gonna get a good heal in. I'm gonna put this on too. Basically, don't wear your flame armor set and you'll be fine. If you leave the ringer pass out, it's all over. You lose. Got it. Okay, now prepare yourself for the contest of endurance. Basically, you just have to wait here, and you have to outpace them on this one. Anyway, so as I was saying, the you know. We get ma some of us get mad at companies for rehashing things and re-putting it out there. But we can't really do that cuz and I'll give an exact example of what this is. Of what of what I'm trying to explain right here with something that we've all done. Well, they've all died. I win. Wow, only only a heart and a half. Easy. I have Mipha's Grace, so I can kind of cheat this next one a little bit, but I wanted to get back to full health before I do this. Before I, I wanted to get up to full health before we do this one. Never thought three Gorn Blood would lose to you. In fact, granting you the highest honor a chance to participate in the contest of Ultimate Endurance. Here's where our ancestors train. It's considered to be the toughest test you now in the Goron kind. That one just like Chief, the Chief, or for whatever reason. See that ring behind me? The one surrounded on fire? Do you feel it on your gut? What a bad idea it is to go up there? Your gut is dead on, brother. The special training area is even harder than the rest than the last ring. The cause won't just be a challenge won't just challenge you with heat, but also with fire. If you lose your focus, your body will catch fire. Make sure you're prepared for this, brother. It said that passing this test will reveal a shrine or some such. Think you're ready, climb into the ring, do that, and, a, and our special contest of ultimate endurance will begin. Huh? Is that heat resistant gear you have there? What I don't I don't have any on. In fact, I have warm clothes on. I have to wait till I have to wait till the heat resistance dies out. So, anyway, as I was saying, but the whole concept of like, I'll eat these just to get my stuff stuff uh, back to full health, and I can't undo my buffs, so I gotta wait a little bit. But a compromise to that is, you know, we're we're making fun of companies who just rehash products every year and occasionally do something n original all right now everybody everybody here at one point in their life has written an essay a short story a, a, a pe an epipath epipath something like that here we go you're standing up there which can only be one thing you're ready to push yourself to the limits same as ever leave the ring of leave the ring of faint it's over but yeah this one's gonna take a lot out of you but, um, so everybody, everybody here who's watching has written an essay at some point. Two pages, three pages, whatever. You just gotta bear it, by the way. But, here's an example. Say you write an essay. It's your first essay you've written for this particular subject, and it's a great essay. Your teacher approves of it, the, the school board approves of it, everybody... Everybody approves of it. But. But, um. I got Mephis Grace still, so it's so good. 
But then they're then they're like, okay, well this is good. I want you to write another story like this. I want you to write another story like this, exactly like this. I want it to be like this, but I want it to be better. I want you to write this story, but I want you to write it in an entirely another language, without using a translator. Also, I want it done. In, I want it done in three months. So basically, the parallels I want to draw some things. So basically, you are being told you need to write the same essay with roughly the same page requirements, but you need to write in French. And then after that's done, write in Spanish. And after that's done, write in Japanese. After that's done, Chinese. After that's Ta Ta Taiwanese. After that, uh, uh, Roman, Greek, whatever. It, the process goes on like this. What a powerful slave. What fire. That's something, that's something else, brother. And here comes the shrine. So this just goes on like this. So... But you don't want to, but there's times when you get tired of having to relearn a language from scratch to make a game that is the same, that is the same or better, or you, yeah, you get tired of learning a language, a new language every time you have to write this essay, the same or better than you originally wrote it. So you decide, you just rehash it a little bit and re-release it and re-put and re out that essay and get a... Well, this essay was nice, but it's a lot like the other one, and it's a whole, and it's really covers the same points, but it covers so much more content than, than the original paper provided. Okay, well, how about that other essay we gave you? That's kind of what it is. The new language is basically writing a whole new physics and a whole new physics program, or a whole new physics and calculation program for the new game. And the, um, by the way, we are right down here if you haven't paying attention. So let's kind of, the, and then the essay is, the essay that you're continuously writing, in this example would be like Super Mario Brothers. You kind of see what I'm getting with here? So it does suck that you are basically being told present the same thing, but with a totally new gr ground up approach when you've already got the original thing there. So that's why I present it like this, because I want to make sure that you can't, like, people, like, you don't just sit there and rag on a company for constantly re releasing a game with a little more polish. Because that still takes work, and they need time to work on whatever else they have on the back burner. Much like with Breath of the Wild here, they released Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD, a, maybe as far back as Majora's Mask 3D, because they reworked that game all to hell. I know I didn't make much sense all in the end game, but I hope like I gave comparisons and like and hopefully I'll be like that's enough of a purpose to be like, yo, chill. It takes time to make something like this. Let's see, check for chests around here. I don't see any. So what's the apparatus here? Oh, just light them all up. All right, I can do this. I should do it. Simple enough. But yeah, I, that was a time of conversation I've had burning in the back of my head for a good half a year now, and I was like, when do I want to present it? And I figured now would be as good a time as any, now that I need to present, <laughs> think about how I want to present this in a game st in a game standpoint. Or not really in a game standpoint, but on a recording, so to say. Oh, this is good, actually. Okay, this is how you do this, easier. I don't know why I didn't notice this right away, but... So I'm going to do... I'm going to do... That for now. Because the wind coming off of here should help us... No, it won't. I need to point this more at the corner. There you go, good enough. Yeah, definitely good enough. Because you're supposed to hop in this to fly over to this. <laughs> Get Link! Holy crap, child. So yeah, I didn't want to make this like a soapbox of how you pe how people should like appreciate the games we have more. Just, I wanted to like draw some parallel and be like, 
and just to say like, hey, guys, you need to chill. Making a game isn't easy, and what they're putting out as kind of a filler while they make the new engine is really a lot of... takes a lot of work to get this new thing going. Really? Okay, I know what I'm going to do here. So let's get this going again. Let's get all three of these going. Stop. Now with this... Wait, I'm dumb. I could just go stand on the other one. I think I make that jump. Maybe not. I think I make the jump easier over this one right next to me. So let's hope. Let's hope that this is close enough. Crap. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know it. If I was a little too harsh, you gotta let me know, cause like me myself, I don't know. I don't know anything about game development whatsoever. All I know is about YouTube content development, and even then, like, I feel like I'm a little bit ahead of the curve, because it doesn't take me much effort to put together all of this. At all. That's just me. Like, for me to put together a whole video series like this, like, I put together just this... Oh, I have to keep it... Well, I know how to keep it pressed. Um, like, for me to put together, like, a, hu a bigger series like this, you know, I've got it done in three, four weeks at this point. But I also don't have like the sponsorship deals I have to do, the extra the extra little things I have to do. I haven't ventured into putting streaming into my schedule yet. I haven't done any of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze that button there. And run on through. We made it. Uh, let's see, now I think there is okay. How do we do this? I'm going to freeze one of these and try it. Okay. Trying to be very careful here because I don't know when what's going to hit by get hit by fire wear or get hit by water wear. This my B button? No. This down here. Dang it. This down here is my B button. Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm just going to shoot the rest of the fire arrows. If you want to sit here and just putz with this, I'm cool with that. Do your own thing. But I'm not going to do it. Wait. I could have also done that. Okay, so two things I gotta do here. One, this button. Two, that up there. Should've done in the opposite order, actually, now I think about it. Okay. I'll get my treasure in a minute, as long as I know where it went to. I don't know where my treasure went. Where'd my treasure go? Wow, I seriously lost that treasure. Okay, I don't care enough about the treasure. I showed you how to get it down. It's right up there. Oh, was this... Oh, those are all lit. Okay, awesome. So, did that just not... No, the treasure fell. Do I seriously have to put the treasure chest on my thing so I can find it? Do I have to put the shredded chest on my Sheikah Sensor Plus because I just can't find it right now? <laughs> I might have to actually, now that I think about it. Uh, where would it be? Okay, well you know what? I'm going to use the Sheikah Sensor Plus for this then. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, change target. I need treasure chest, please. That's not going to be a treasure chest. 
Where is treasure chest? Oh, I just found it. It rolled back here. Go me! Oh, it's a spear. Well, good thing I can't hold it. Anyway, let's turn that off. So there's the power of treasure chest at work. God, that I feel dumb for not finding that. But yeah, I, again, I want to just mention the point. It took me like 20 minutes to get this out, but I just wanted to provide a parallel that everybody can understand and why people shouldn't like rag on companies for every for most of the time reproducing the same thing or rehashing it because they need time to make the next big thing. Again, Majora's Mask 3D, Wind Waker HD, and Twilight Princess HD. I might be wrong on Majora's Mask 3D, but those were all made. So was Link Between Worlds and Triforce Heroes in the time it took in the time span it took to make Breath of the Wild. Which people are claiming is like the next gr the the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, all right. So I'm bringing you out here because we are right next to. We are. At, I'm going to pull up my map because I need. I need this for this first little bit here, but I think we are right next to. Yes, we are right next to not only a shrine which is like just down this road here. Like literally it's right off of this point right here. So we're just going to jump off of here. But there's also the tower, which is directly east of it right about here. So let's do it. Um, Actually, now we're at a point where I can, for a little while here, I can go back to the armor set I want to wear. I must get you. Also, oh, you know, I never did go look for him. I could start looking right now. I might go look. Actually, yeah, I'll cut away for a little bit. I want to see if I can't find Kilton, because we have not seen him forever, and I want to see if he has more stuff for us. So I'm going to check around. I'm going to check Kakariko. I'm going to check by his... Actually, I'm going to first check by his spot in Akala. And see if he's there. Then I'll go Kakariko, and then if it becomes sun up, I'll just come right back here. Oh, there he is. So I wanted to talk, go to Kilton, but this will also provide an excellent segue for something else. Now, Kilton, I mentioned—I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm going to talk about it now. Uh, at some point in the game, uh, basically a post-game, Kilton will offer, will after you complete a certain task, will offer you a set of armor that looks like Dark Link. That makes you look like Dark Link through and through. That's like his. That's like his ba huge end goal thing there. Hi. Hi. Uh, I want to spend some on. Now I want to see. Do you have more? The Lionel mask. Lionels are monsters that are half man, half horse. Oh my goodness. I was almost killed by Lionel's this mask. He was one of the best moments of my life. Anyhow, this girdle mask can be can fool Lionels into thinking you're one of them. Try it for yourself. It's quite a rush. So I have 852 mon. So, okay, we can buy everything except for the Lionel Mask. We can buy a horse bridle and a horse saddle. Uh, how much mon do I need? I need... I'm just going to buy this straight up. I'm going to buy everything until we run out of money first. But this is but this stuff we're going to buy here is probably the last we're going to deal with Kilton. Like I said, he does sell... Okay, so we need... 1,200? 1,300? Let me, let me do the math. I would say we're gonna need about 1,300 mon. We have 154, so let's go 1,150. Okay, let's get over here. Uh, I don't have multi. Well, I have. You don't trade. You don't give that much for that, fortunately. Uh, you'll buy your monster extract back, which I'm not gonna do. Oh lord, let's get down to like 70. Let's get down to like 70 of these. Oh, 
I can definitely count to 70. Whatever, we'll go with this. Okay, so... Uh, these sell for more. Let's get down to like 80 of these, because I use these for potions, so 80... 55. Okay, I just need a little bit more. Uh, oh, let's do let's do eighteen. See where we end up. Only ninety. Let's see if we can get it. Well, now nah, let's trade in ten more just to be safe. All right, excellent. So, anyway, as I was saying, um. So he does sell. I am off, aren't I? Yeah, I need to sell five more of those. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. But okay, I'm getting off topic. So he does sell. He does. He will give you the option option to buy a Dark Link set. This is the 100% part I'm gonna say to avoid unless you really, really, really want it that bad. Oh, I'm holding on so many springs. Let's just do another that that much whatever. Anyway, not only does it cost a metric ton of mon. Oh, dang it! I did it again. But um, not not only does it require an extreme amount of mon to get the whole set, but in order to get it, you must go across the high roll and defeat every, every you must find and defeat every Lionel, Talos, Hinox. And uh, that's it, actually. I was about to say Guardian, but no, that would be that would be a far shot. It might be Guardian too, actually. Okay, but at this point, we're pretty much done with Kilton. We don't have to do anything else with him. We can buy more Monster Extract if we really want it, but I don't really want it, <laughs> and I don't care about the Spring Loaded Hammer enough. No, I'm good. Thanks, man. But the Dark Link, but only after you have killed all of those, I'm going to just keep talking while I warp back over here. Only after killing all those in the entire land of Hyrule, and he will help keep track of them so you can know which is where, but he won't tell you where the new ones are. After you defeat every single one, regardless of Blood Moon or not, so basically if you kill all of the ones during, if you kill all of the ones during a Blood Moon, or if you kill all a bunch of them, a Blood Moon happens, it still counts as you killing them all. But after you have slain every possible one, in, or after you've clear, cleared every location once of a line of Lionel, Hinox, and Talus, then he will sell you the Dark Link set. The Dark Link set is cosmetic. It cannot be upgraded. It cannot be altered. <laughs> All it does is make you look like Dark Link. White hair, black clothes, not as black skin. Red eyes. Not worth it, really, in my opinion. <sighs> Give me my blade. Okay. You're, you're all pissing me off. <sighs> where's, a, where's a better sword? Okay, seriously? And my shield's down there now, too. <sighs> I have a better idea. I'm done. I'm done with you. And I'm done with you. Now I'm going to go down and get my Thunder Blade and my shield back. Or I got my Thunder Blade still. I have to go down and get my Thunder Blade. Or my Ice my ice Blade. And I also have to get... That shield. Or I also get that Frost Blade. Thank you for being assholes. Don't you offer me a side quest. Damn it. Maybe, uh, like you. And I was talking my monsters in this very canyon when my partner, let's so say my horse, ran off. And hey, I've been stranded here ever since. I just had a horse that could continue my travels. And you're a fellow traveler, so I have to ask. No. Uh, sure? Mm. 
So I could just warp to a, st a nearby stable. Yeah, I could just warp to a nearby stable and grab up any horse. Anyway. So I'm heading through this canyon because there is a shrine really close to us here. Uh, I don't know if it's up higher or if it's down on our level. But then we'll go up from there, and I think then from the once we get the tower, we'll <laughs> warp to get a horse, and I'll ride it over here for him. Oh, there it is. That's the one I'm looking for. I don't care about this thing. Link, just ride it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If I find a horse out here, I'll just grab it. But on that note, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Everyone, we've made it into the final area of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thank you all so much for watching, and you have a great rest of your day. Take care.